Thank you so much for having me once more. It's Monday with our Youth Connect and I hope you are going to enjoy the show. Sure. Thank you. 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 So we are going to finish that off and then we'll use some examples and I would like to close by just giving people a few um, uh, things that are associated with vision and how powerful a vision can be if a person has nice. a vision. Nice. Take it away, sir. Savareti uh, Votle, thank you so much for having me. Once more, we are continuing. Last week, we had a conversation um, around who we are and we had said that there are three elements of, of who we are and or rather elements that are very important about who we are. And the first one we spoke about was the fact that God created us to be able to reproduce, uh, to be reproductive. And this becomes very important for us to understand because uh, part of our reproduction is everything to do with lineage, with heritage, and where we come from. Because or rather, we were born out of the families we were born into. But what is important is for us to have a good understanding. What is the lineage? What is the history of that family? So that we can pick up the things that are good about us being there and also pick up the negative things that we need to develop systems on how to manage them so that we can do better. Because in every family, there will always be the good and bad. But you need to understand that the good is there for you to enhance it, to make it better, and then the bed is there for you to develop systems to manage it. And we also mentioned or there's also the element of adaptation, how we adapt and how God has created us to have the flexibility to adapt to everything that we encounter and we experience. And the last one we said, response to stimuli. So today I'm going to finish off the part ER reproduction. And as I've mentioned last week, we spoke about the importance of character. To say character is very important because it allows you as a, per, as a person to have a greater understanding of who you are as an individual. And we said part of who you are character-wise has everything to do with where you come from because your environment and where you come from determines the person that you are ultimately. And whether the environment was good or bad, sometimes, yes, it might bring uh, elements in you that are negative because the environment was negative, but you need to have that understanding so you can be intentional around what you do in making sure that you rectify some of those ills that are there and making sure that you become a better person moving forward. So understanding that those, those uh, particular elements is important because then you will understand what kind of character person are you and what builds you as a person and what makes you who you are. And what we also touched on last week was the issue of vision and discipline. To say it's important for us to understand how every individual that lives in this world needs to have a vision. Most of the time, people discuss visions when they're thinking business, when they're thinking careers, to say, what is your five-year plan? Or what is your, your business plan for the next five years? That's the only time people look at vision. But to say, vision, and this is my vision in life. Uh, you will find that, you know, a lot of times, maybe females tend to have a much, a much more stretching vision uh, than males have most of the time. Already one day But guys are different, you know, boys are different and, and, and males are different. They think differently when they look at these things. So it becomes important that we know that your vision should not be narrow-minded. It should not only focus on certain things. It must be as broad as possible. Because that vision allows you the necessary discipline. Asi khanzi mutu akho na exercise discipline mo life in yakhe if asa thalo khanyo kore vision ya hai ya khe mo butilong ki e. So it becomes important to know what that vision is because when you know the vision, the vision will also inform how you must live your life. Your vision will also inform things that you are supposed to get involved in and things that you are not supposed to get involved in. One of the things that I touched on is that there are key important things about people that walk with vision and discipline is that vision and discipline makes you live a narrow, narrow life. It makes you live a narrow life. And I use several examples to say some of the most successful people that you know in the world today, it's not people that you can bump into anywhere when you are walking around town. If you bump into them, it's by chance. 
But it's not that you can say every day ka Wednesday ka tsa bar hanga ya Mall of Africa ke tla kopana le motsepe or every day ka 12 o'clock ha ke ya Mall of Africa ke tla kopana le motsepe. You you will not you will not necessarily have that because they live a narrow life and Matsilo bona most of the time are not necessarily uh, uh, busy in a sense that they have too many people around them because a vision and discipline will also allow you to reduce the number of friends that you have in your life because you choose your friends by the good impact and the influence they have around your life you don't choose friends because you love together and you enjoy life together but most of the time you choose friends because you are a person of vision and everything that you do is informed by the vision that you have this becomes important because you are able to choose things very carefully in life you are able to choose the people you associate with very carefully you are able to choose the things that you do very carefully why because you have a vision and that vision has enforced a certain level of discipline in your life and as i have mentioned has a vision ya gore ke na le vision for career ya ka gore ke engineer ke na le five year plan ya gore in five years ke batla gore ke be ke le kae ka botshelo as an engineer or maybe i have a business and ke batla in five years a business ya ka e be khudile e le bokana ka size but ke bua ka vision ya ga go wena as an individual to say what is your vision what is it what are your goals how how do you plan on building yourself emotionally as a person do you invest yourself in reading things that are going to develop you emotionally you know do you invest yourself in in reading things that are going to develop you financially do you invest yourself in reading things that are going to develop you in other aspects of your life that is why you will find that many a times you, you we tend to be weak in other areas of our lives because we don't invest in them as well as we should because there's no plan and there's no vision and that creates an an imbalanced person an imbalanced person that is not capable of 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 living life in a way that is balanced yes i'm not saying you know we are perfect i'm not perfect either and and you will find that i i learn as i go there are things that i'm learning and i'm picking up and this is the importance of why god did not bring you here alone and he brought you here and you have people you live among people you interact with people you can learn from because those those interactions live at about you to say as a person we are not going to talk about it's not every single thing that you're supposed to experience yourself dilo tse ding di tlhoka gore o ithute ka go sheba batho ba ba you don't have to expect because if you had to experience everything in life you would not survive because gona le dilo wena as a person you will never be able to manage them but god allows people to experience certain things and when they share their experiences you are able to learn from those experiences and say okay this one i have learned one two three from it that is why it's so important that you you choose i've, I've got five people around my life which are probably i would call the people that are in my inner circle and each of those people the reason why they are in my life is because there is something about their character that i am learning from that is developing me positively as a person so i keep those people in my life because they are a constant reminder to me what i should be doing to develop further and grow further in my life and in terms of what i want to do so you see when you have a vision and discipline it allows you to even know why is this person your friend you are able to give them a very strong answer because you understand why that individual is part of your life not because we go to school together not because we work together not because we go to church together no those should not be the reasons the reasons must be valid and they must be such that they feed into what you call a vision and one of the most important things about a vision is that people we need to learn to write down what we want to achieve because every once in a while life comes and it it throws punches at you and it throws you off and sometimes it derails you and takes you out of what you plan to do in life you need to know that when you are at that point of your life you need to go back and reflect to say what does my vision say what does my blueprint say am i still making decisions that are in line with what i have purpose to do for my life and you will realize that a lot of people that do successfully in their lives are people that are able to have a plan to refer to all the time and if there's anything i have seen even in my own life when it comes to achieving certain goals is that when you write your goals down and you put dates and and timelines to those things sometimes you will realize that some of the things because they are written down you achieve them sooner than the time you had expected to achieve them that is the power of a vision when you have a vision a vision simplifies your life
A vision makes your life simple because you are not going to drag things into that vision that you know do not belong into that vision. Your choices are easier because you understand that they do not belong into that vision. It makes your life so much easier. Even when there are mistakes in there, you can pick them up very quickly and realize, oh, this one, I'm headed in the wrong direction. This one is toxic for me. This one is good for me. Why? Because the vision is meant to make your life simpler. When you have a vision, you know what decisions to make. You know what choices to make because you know where those choices will lead you to. You, you become ordinarily, you know, even naturally, you just become an, a, a, a wise person. Simply because everything why Nahan Sita before we did and you, you, you calculate the risk behind what based on what on the vision and the vision helps you to do better. So I want to touch now on a few things as, I, as, I, as I'm wrapping up to say so we see a lot of people who are successful. Is it because they pray better than other people? Is it because they um, maybe they, they are lucky? You know, a lot of people talk about luck to say. You know, you are lucky. That's why... And, and the question that we need to ask ourselves is that if God is fair, why are some people succeeding and some people not succeeding? Why? Why is that the case? And it's, it's a very straightforward thing because think about it this way. Do you expect a student who is always sitting in class, disciplined, listening in school, taking notes, getting home, he has very little to, time to play in the streets. They are sitting at home, they are studying, and they are trying to understand the material in school. And then you find another student who's playful in class, doesn't listen, is always poking other students. When it's lunchtime, care not the, the talk of the, of the lunch because social butterfly, you know? They are all over the place. When it's after school, they, they are all over the streets. They come home late only to just prepare for the next day. Now, at the end of the year, which of those students do you expect them to do better in school? It's the one that has applied discipline in their lives. Now, at the end, when you look at those two people, are you going to say God is unfair on the social butterfly as opposed to the one that's disciplined? You can't say that. Which means more than half the time, what we would call success, what we would call um, um, um a stable life, what we will call a, 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 a life that has structure, that has direction, is more our responsibility than it is God's responsibility. Wow. Yes, we can pray about stuff. God must give us strength. God must help us, which is good because God is just and God is faithful and God is helpful. When you speak to him, he helps you. But the question you always need to ask yourself is to say, what am I doing as a person? To show that level of discipline that allows me to say, even if God prepares a blessing for me, I am ready for that blessing. Even if God prepares something for me, it's like for an example, if I want to give you potatoes, please come with your cars. You know, these, these small VWs. What track? Because that one, capacity is ready to take more from what is. So, little Namo Life, we must understand that our lives are structured the same. You build your capacity. If you build a capacity, you will have the capacity to take things that fit in an Uno. If you build a capacity uh, for a sports car, sports cars in passenger one, you can't fit much in there. If you build capacity for a bucky, you are, all, you are going to be able to take things that fit in a bucky. If you build capacity of a truck, you'll be able to take things that are at that level. So the question is, what capacity are you building in your own life? Wow. And people that take time and separate time to build capacity in their own lives are people that actually do better. So I'm going to use an example now. You know, um, Tiger Woods is probably one of the most successful sportsmen, and I'm talking sports, I'm not even talking golf. Successful sportsmen across the whole board, whether you're talking rugby or any other sport, Tiger Woods has come out at the top as the best sportsman. Now, you look at Tiger Woods and you ask yourself a question. How did he become what he became? Okay, so let's go back to his father. His, his father is a war a veteran. The kind of resilient and strength and mental capability that his father demonstrated when he was in the army. 
and how people knew him when he was in the army, how resilient and how tough he was, is the same heritage that he gave to Tiger Woods. That is why you will see in the early ages here, Tiger Woods' career. Tiger Woods had his father next to him. He did everything with his father. That's why in the year when he won, when he won uh, 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 the title in the year after his father passed away, it was an emotional time for him because he had lost a friend and he had lost a coach, someone who actually invested in developing him. Now imagine, he had the opportunity of his father passing on the same mental strength, the same capability that he had onto his son. And that worked very well for Tiger Woods. He became a very unique sportsman. Even when there was drama in his life, later on in his life, with his marriage, with his lifestyle, drugs and alcohol and all of those things, he could bounce back because mentally he was tough. He had taken the time to build himself up so that he has capacity to deal with life. Now today, the challenge that we have is that we don't spend enough time building ourselves. The type of TV shows we watch, we watch things that don't add value in our lives. They don't build you up in the mind. They don't make you stronger. They don't make you wiser. We just watch things for the sake of watching them. Because there's no vision. Your vision does not even inform you of what you should choose to watch or what you choose not to watch. So what I want to just touch on in closing is just so that we understand the importance of why some people are more successful. And it has everything to do with vision. Have a plan for your life. Have a plan for your life. You, you can call it a pilot plan. You can call it whatever you want to call it. But have a plan that shows you the direction you are going to take and the decisions you need to make, what you need for you to get to where you need to get to, all the things that you need to develop. What courses do you need to take for you to get there? What is it that you need to do to get to where you need to get to? And this is important because many a times we need to understand that never underestimate the power of creating value in your life. Value is necessary for success. It is necessary for growth in life. And this is important because it means everything around your life should be evaluated based on the value that it brings to your life. It must be evaluated based on the value that it brings into your life. So you need to be, to be aware of that so that you are also aware of the gifts and talents that God has given you for you to achieve certain goals. And this is important because it means when you know what they are, you have spotted gifts and talents that you have, you are able to then build and cultivate those gifts up to a point where you can do a lot more with yourself. And I'm telling you now, if you build yourself up, you can build yourself up to a point where the world cannot ignore you anymore. The world cannot ignore you because you have cultivated your gift to a point where even your gift begins to be in demand. Yes, it can be in demand locally, maybe just in Kuruma. And as you grow, it can be in demand in JTG. As you grow, it becomes in demand in, in the Northern Cape. As you grow, it becomes in demand in, in, in other provinces and the greater South Africa. Simply because you have built so much value around yourself. And this has built you as a person. So this becomes very important for us to realize because once we build value around ourselves, we are able to realize the importance of vision. How vision can add value in the decisions that you make in your life. So I want to touch on a few things as I close. Why vision is so important. Vision will choose your future. Vision will choose your future. And vision will choose your friends. Vision will choose your friends and vision will choose your library. The type of material you consume. The type of material you allow yourself to spend time consuming. Vision will choose how you use your time. Vision will choose how you use your time. Some people are just happy sitting around and laughing all day doing nothing. Some people get bothered when that happens because they feel they are not productive. We need to be productive. Vision chooses the type of things you expose yourself to, whether it's movies, whether it's music, whether it's anything that you get exposed to. Vision will prioritize that for you. Vision will dictate to you what you need to expose yourself to. Vision will also give you priorities. You will know what's good for you and what's not, what you need to put up in your, in, your, in your priority list and what you need not. And this is important because vision will also help you choose your hobbies. To say, what hobbies do I actually love? Are they developmental? Do they allow me to grow? There's people that have hobbies like playing chess. 
which is actually a very a very good thing to do uh, it's 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 a, it's a strategic game that allows you to develop your mental capacity strategically so and those those are the type of things that you look at as a person to say okay look i might have other hobbies that are not as productive or just as beneficial to me but i need to have also hobbies that allow me to grow because i'm not saying everything about life is about growth you also still need to have fun but you need to understand that in your fun don't populate your life with more fun than growth because then you are working backwards and this is important and that's what i wanted to touch with you uh, today around vision and the importance of vision and how vision can allow you to have a principled life how vision can allow you to have a structured life how vision can allow you to have a better view of where you are going in your future. Thank you so much.